Hey guys, welcome to the Cyberspace VR. Um, today I'm going to go over a really common problem that a lot of people have with their Oculus Rift S. So, um, what will happen is you'll plug in your headset and it'll say update required and you install an update. Then you go here and it says Oculus software up restart required again. And so you'll do that in a loop, 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 and loop. Um, took me a while to figure out this out. And I just need to do a quick little summary of what the process that I went through to get my Oculus Rift S working today. So to start off, plugged everything in and it says that I need to restart Oculus software. So to me, that means that there's updates that either need to be installed inside of Oculus or on Windows side. So first I restarted Oculus, did the whole nine yards, and then it still needed to restart again. So that means it's cycling. There's nothing changing. So definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. That's don't bother restarting it if you haven't changed anything. So the first thing I would do is go ahead and unplug your headset, both at your, your computer and inside the headset to see if it gets working. If that doesn't work, then go to Windows and check the update section. Not just like the standard Windows update, but the feature update is really, really crucial. When I first had this problem, I sat there racking my brain for two hours trying to figure it out. You just need to make sure you get that feature update and then everything should be working. Once you restart and then you get back to the Oculus software, you still might have problems. And the next step for you to take is to um, remove the, uh, the headset under the devices. And that's really easy. You just click here in devices, click on your headset, and then scroll to the bottom. Make sure your headset's unplugged. Hit remove device. And then when you plug your headset back in, you'll do the reinstall process and everything. You'll sync up your controllers, all that. If you have some issue, issues with your controllers, just hit skip setup for now and they might already be synced to your headset. Um, that's how you get that working. Then what we had to do is we actually had to unplug this and plug it back in again. So that was just taking off the cover, unplugging it, plugging it back in, covering it up. Then we're good to go. So then you set up your guardian. Everything should be working. It's a lot, it's a process, but those are your standard troubleshooting, <laughs> troubleshooting tips um, when you're working with the Oculus Rift S and really all VR headsets for that matter. There's so many things you can do, but reinstalling your software, unplugging, plugging back in, all those things, that's usually your go-tos. And if one of those doesn't work, then you might have a hardware problem and that's when you need to call the Oculus support or Vive support or whatever it may be. So good luck. I hope you guys, I hope your issues are resolved with this. I know it's a nightmare sometimes to really have to go through all this and some things don't work. But this is what's worked for me on multiple occasions, multiple headsets. So go ahead, give it a run. If it didn't work, let me know in the comments and maybe I can give you some more suggestions on things you can try. It's a pretty simple fix. Uh, so you, what you do is you go to the search bar, you type in Windows Update Settings, it'll open the System Settings, and it says you're up to date, but right down here it says Feature Update to Windows 10, and that is critical. So what you do is you have to go Download and Install, and that will install this update. Once your computer restarts and everything starts working again, you might have to do one more boot cycle of the Rift S update process, and then it'll get everything running. But once that's installed, you should be good to go. So I'll check back in once this is done downloading. Okay, we're almost done with this install. It took a little bit. Uh, there's a couple things I wanted to talk about, about this step specifically. So when you're installing something, there's a lot of things that you wanna do before you even take this. Um, this kind of lengthy step. It's, it might even take upwards of an hour to install these weird updates, uh, depending on which one it is. But when you're troubleshooting your headset, it might be a good idea, obviously, to unplug it. Um, some people have found some success with unplugging just the display port and plugging in the USB, restarting your computer that way. That way, Oculus can do its thing and figure out what's going on. And then it says, no display port connected. You plug it in, and then it starts working. Um, other people have gone into the... Um, listed devices on Windows and then going and deleting the Oculus one and then it'll automatically add it again. So you unplug it, delete it, plug it back in, it'll reinstall that software which will hopefully get you running and going. Um, if you have a Rift S you kind of understand that it's not a perfect like seamless integration with Windows. Um, there's some issues here and there but there's a few simple steps that you can do to kind of make it easier. Number one, and this is kind of the, the tech help like baseline is A, restart your computer, B, 
you need to do Windows updates and you know see you need to do your Rift updates. And if you have those three, three things covered, then you need to start Googling, then you need to start diving into things. And if you're here, you're probably already Googling, so that's a great start. But I would get this done. So you're gonna see the Windows update and then there's the feature update. Make sure you get both. Um, otherwise things aren't gonna work because the Rift, what, what they're doing is they update the Rift S before your computer's updated. So it doesn't check to validate that your computer is updated to the most current software before upgrading its own. So it's, it's ahead of the game. And so it thinks that it needs to be upgraded because it's on a different version, but it's not. Does that make sense? So yeah, you just need to make sure that everything's up to the newest version and then you can get running. Um, that way everything is happy and works well together. So once, once this is done, we'll be able to run and it'll be great. All right, guys, just finished installing the update, had to restart, do all that fun stuff. So as you can see, there's no, there's no feature updates, no normal updates, it's checked. Um, we go here. So now, like I said, we're gonna have to restart the Oculus software even though we restarted the computer. So we'll restart Oculus. Now if this doesn't work, and that's probably what's gonna happen, we'll unplug the Oculus Rift, boot up the Oculus software, see if it says we need anything new or anything like that, and then we'll try again. But it looks like, so we just come over here to devices. We're good to go, green and connected. And we'll just go ahead and boot it up and play some games after this. Um, but everything seems to be working fine. So like I said, if that doesn't seem to work, there's a lot more things you can try. Uninstalling, reinstalling Oculus, um, unplugging, plugging your headset back in, something that I would recommend trying. Um, if you still have problems after this type of thing, unplugging this part of the headset right here and plugging it back in. Got to be a little careful. You can break your headset pretty easily if you don't do it right. Oh, crap. See, now we're screwed. <laughs> well, just show them. Just keep going. All right. Just tell them what happened. Okay, well, again, this kicked in again. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the headset. Um, it's not connected. We'll close Oculus software, boot it up again. Without the headset plugged in. Okay, so here we are. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Let's see how it works. Okay, restart required still. So there's a couple more things we can try. We tried do it, doing the Oculus um, restart and everything. We installed all the Windows updates we can. Something that I recommend doing is just unplugging your headset and doing this. Unplug it. Um, it'll let you know that it doesn't have it, but you go here, remove devices. Just remove it from the list. So you can re-add a headset. Obviously click Rift S. Then you want to do the whole setup prompt like you did when you first bought your headset. Um, so this happens a lot. USB ports act weird with Oculus. Sometimes you need to be in the right um, USB 3.0. So I may have plugged it in the wrong one. Let's try that. Okay, so sensor check complete. So that, that was one thing that was wrong is our USBs was in, were in the wrong spot. So make sure you're plugging into the USB 3.0 ports. Okay, we already have batteries in our controllers. So left controller is here. Press and hold the menu and the Y buttons. And this is all standard stuff, unless these are dead. They might be. Yeah, we need batteries. Okay, so we just uninstalled our headset. Now we're reinstalling it through the Oculus software itself. Um, you can do it through the Windows one, and hopefully we won't have to go that far, but that's what we did here. And so if you need to find that again, it's just, you find your Rift S, and you'll unplug it. Um, but down here it says remove devices, but it has to be unplugged for you to be able to remove devices. So hopefully this works. It says it's active. So that's a very good sign. That means that it's actually running the software. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on, and just make sure that we're running. I'm not getting anything yet again. All right, so a little fast forward here. 
we were having some issues with the Oculus Rift connecting to the hard or the software, and it says that there was a hardware problem. Um, and that happened when I was doing the setup. It was still getting power and everything, but things were acting weird. So in classic tech repair fashion, I unplugged it inside the headset and plugged it back in. So what you have to do is you have to actually take off the faceplate like this. Um, it's really easy. You just pull. <laughs> it's not like anything fancy. It's just little tiny clips. Um, and you're not going to break your headset. You might have to be a little firm. Um, and you unplug this from your headset. So this is the, the cord that goes to your computer. And then um, now it's working. Now the way you can test it without like the faceplate on before you, you know, button it all back up. You just put your finger over this little cover thing here, and then you can actually look in there and see, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's lights on in there more than just your standard. There's just three dots sometimes when it's not working, but you can see that it's white, and that means that you're in the Guardian setup room. So that's perfect. So now you take this, put it back on like this. Something really important to note right here, these little tabs, if they're not place properly if they're like that and you put it on this will get in your way and bug you so just make sure that it's seated and then you go ahead put this back on and like I said it's just clips so you just put some pressure it'll clip back in place make sure you get those little uh, these parts right here so that it see it pop just popped out on me so you have to be really thorough make sure that everything's clipped in Okay, so that feels pretty solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the Guardian in our room. Subscribe, drop us a like if this worked for you. Let us know if it worked, I hope it did. Um, and stay tuned, we're gonna be coming out with more videos on how to get things working, maybe some mod support type stuff. Let us know in the comments if you have any ideas.